For today's episode, we are focusing on four kicks that are fantastic at a tight range. If you're somebody who doesn't like being super far away, maybe you're very proficient at boxing, but you wanna add the legs, how do you go about doing that without feeling like, oh, when I finish my hand combo, I'm way too jammed to throw my kicks. The sponsor of today's episode is Bioptimizers. In particular, we are focusing on their Masszyme product. This supplement is perfect for those gentlemen who feel like they're losing muscle mass and gaining fat, but they're going, yo, I'm still working out. What's happening? But this is not your fault. Your body's enzyme production naturally declines with age, making it harder to break down protein and build muscle. Masszymes supercharges your protein digestion, increasing amino acid absorption by an incredible 1200%. That means you'll get more muscle building nutrition from every meal and you will experience less soreness, faster recovery, and better workout results. And Bioptimizers has a no questions asked 365 day guarantee. You can head over to bioptimizers.com forward slash Gabriel and use my promo code Gabriel10 to save 10%. Now we are focusing on four tighter range kicks. They're going to help you land when you feel, oh, Possibly I'm jammed. I'm jammed and I cannot do anything from here with my lower half. When you think about most striking sports, kickboxing, MMA, Muay Thai, you don't want to end up at this range where you can use your upper body and go, oh, I can't use my lower body. And this is something many people struggle with. I will explain some of the points on how you can avoid feeling jammed, but also just certain kicks are going to be that much better. So let's start off from this range going, what can I naturally land very well? Well, either teep is gonna be done very easy as long as you chamber your knee tight to your chest. If I just come up like this, kind of natural, I'm gonna go, oh yeah, I'm feeling so jammed. But if I bring my knee tight, I can jam from there or I can throw my punches and again, shift my weight backwards to create some space and then throw the other side. Either one is great, but you don't want to always think, okay, I have to be at this range to throw those front kicks because it's going to take away so much of your game. So in here, boom, 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 knee tight, jam them up or a couple long range punches, shift backwards and let that front kick go. I can tell you from experience that trying to block and then receive these short little chopping front kicks to the stomach is so unpleasant. And if you can get this added in, just chamber a little bit tighter. Don't let the leg come out here, pull it in. All of a sudden your front kicks at that tight range are gonna be deadly. The next one which I wanna focus on is a head round kick. Now most people after let's say throwing a hook go, oh no, I'm way too close for a head round kick. Maybe if they shift backwards I can do it. But an easy way is to drop your head down to the side and you can see the difference right away. I throw my hook and I'm going, oh, I feel really jammed. I throw my hook, I drop my head, and now I'm landing with my foot. So I shift my head slightly backwards. I kind of catch that angle. So instead of being here, I'm more like this. And that in itself is a great way to land head kicks, especially off the back leg from this tighter range. Drop the head and all of a sudden you're gonna have those Peter Art style crushing head kicks, just chopping people down. Now the lead leg round kick. This is something that if you're at this range, you can snap it in and go, wow, it feels great. But once we get to here, I love still being able to utilize this. How do I go about doing that? Well, I don't worry about going, I have to land with my foot. Instead, I land with my shin. And instead of attacking from the side, I come sort of up on a 45 degree angle. So now once I hit here, I can blast my shin across. And what's great about this is if they rush me, if they're moving in for a punch, they end up eating the shin. So they're like, okay, I'm going to attack. It's a great time to land. So you finish your punch combo, and then you just shift backwards, pivot, and blast that shin across the body. It can be anywhere here. One, two, boom and boom, you have a very dangerous technique right up the midsection from that tighter range. The final kick that I wanna point out to you today is gonna to be done from a very tight range. Like we have our tight Dutch guard up and we're right shelled in with the other person. 
and you're going, how can I land a kick from here? I feel so jammed up, but you can. And we're talking about taking that shin and crashing it deep into their thigh. So of course it could be done from this tight punch range, but if I try again and extend my leg fully, I'm gonna land with my knee. So instead I'm gonna land with a slightly bent leg and I'm gonna drop my shin downwards. This can be done from that punch range, easy, easy, or from right in here and I don't pivot. And that's the big key. If I pivot, now all of a sudden I'm going I'm way too close. So just from here with a high guard and maybe head right against their head, I just drop that shin in. So the round kick, instead of looking like this down low with a big turn, it just ends up becoming this, boom. And you can land this from any distance, as tight as you possibly want, still dropping shin into thigh. And most people are not flexed and ready to check from there. So they're gonna get right through, sometimes to the bone with that kick. If not bone, it's gonna mash up their muscle. So we can come right from here and just boom, boom, or off a hand combo. And either way is great. So now we have four kicks. We have from this tight range, our knees snug up to our chest on the teep. We have the left round kick from this tight range where we shift backwards and put shin across the body. We have our shin down on the low kick and our head off the center line to open up to the head. Those four kicks are gonna create a world of difference in your ability to throw with the lower half from in tight. Opens up your arsenal so much. Thanks for joining guys. I will see you back here soon for another video.